If you want, it's Emily Fox. Today's video is going to be a reading vlog, part two of me attempting to finish series before the end of the year, or at least continue them. I have been struggling all year long with this challenge, and t -t today is no different. Um, <laughs> I wanted to start by mentioning that last night I did finish uh, the third and last book in the Millennium series, so the girl who kicked uh, the hornet's nest, and I have to say it was fine. It was fine but I still feel like book one is miles better than book two and three. I found that the relationship that the author decided to add in here was incredibly cringeworthy. Uh, if you've seen part one, you remember that section that I read and acted, you're welcome. Um, <laughs> it was awful, it was awful. I still think that the whole like journalistic investigation, um, the whole revenge story, super interesting, but this one just wasn't as strong as book one, but still raw enjoyable. I don't know how to rate this, to be honest. Maybe running it up to a four, because again, the strong parts are really strong, but the weak parts are really weak. I'm officially counting this as a finished series because the author only wrote the first three books, actually meant to have a 10 book series. And I know there are three other books that were published from a different author, it doesn't count. It doesn't count. So one more finished series. I will stop blinding you with this thing. Um, now we need to pick the second one I will be reading for this vlog. I'm looking at my pal and it looks like the majority of these are now book two in a trilogy. So I will not be finishing in this series, I think. And oh, I have mentioned it in part one, but The Lost Metal by Brendan Sanderson. If I'm not enjoying whatever I'm reading, I will be continuing this if I get it on time because that would be con continuing and finishing really the series. So I'm so nervous. <laughs> I don't know why, but this challenge has been the most challenging thing I've done all year. So, oh my God, why do... There's hair all over it. Can you tell what it is? I feel like last time you could barely see it. It's so bright there. <sighs> okay, it's okay, it's okay. I had like a... <laughs> my brain stopped working for a second. It's at the bottom of the pile, let me grab it. The Invasion of the Tearling, which is an adult fantasy series. I haven't been reading a ton of fantasy. I did read book one earlier this year, kind of by accident, really. Uh, it was a different challenge where I was reading books with pretty covers, or in that case, it was this pine book one. And I ended up really loving it, really loving it. But people have made me scared to continue because everyone says that book two and three are just really weird and completely different. And I really enjoyed book one and I kind of want to, to keep that. <laughs> That's why I wasn't excited when I saw it. I was like, oh, oh, but it's not big. Well, it's taller than the other ones, but it's only, oh, I take it back. It's 500 pages, so deceptively small, um, but I am excited. It's just, you guys scared me. Th that's what's going on here. So let's see if I can finish that uh, this week. Hopefully I can. If I'm not enjoying it, I will have The Lost Metal by Brendan Sanderson as a backup. I think that's a good compromise. So Day. But before I go ahead and read that, I wanted to give a shout out to Established Titles. Thank you so much for sponsoring this video. If you don't know, they have a website where you can get yourself or someone else a certificate that will let you be called a lord or a lady. So you will get a one square footage of land in Scotland. I have my unique plot number. It makes for a really fun last minute gift. The holidays are approaching. They're currently having their Black Friday sale. If you are interested, I will be putting all the information in the description box. And the best part is that the possibilities are endless. You can actually add Lord or Lady to your credit card if you want to. But it's also a fun way to preserve the forest in Scotland because they've committed to planting a tree for every order and they're working with global charities like One Tree Planted and Trees for the Future to support global reforestation efforts. They will be keeping the entire woodland free of any other uses except for the peaceful enjoyment of the land and keep it protected. The first 200 people that will be using Emily Fox for 15% off will also be one of my neighbors. They've committed to making us our little book kingdom, Books with Emily Fox Kingdom. So once again, all the information will be in the description box if you are interested. And now I'm gonna go ahead and read some series. So I'm in the middle of the first chapter and so far I'm really enjoying it. And I'm like, why was I worried? Why did I listen to all of you? Um, it's good so far. I did read a quick summary online after reading a couple pages because it jumps right into the action. I'm like, who is who? Usually I don't really need to, uh, but I did for this one. I'm glad because but I'm enjoying it. So, okay, it's late. I finally got around to continuing the book and I'm so confused. 
in chapter two, there's the introduction of what I'm assuming is the part that everyone, like, is dividing everyone if it's good or not. And, like, I was reading it and I was like, oh, oh. And I couldn't decide if it was a good or a bad hoe. Oh, that is an unfortunate accent moment. Um, <laughs> you know what I meant. So I'm very undecided about how I'm feeling about this. I don't hate it because I do like, it seems to be like a different genre, almost a different book. But I like that other genre, so it might work. I'm undecided. Good morning. I wanted to give you a quick update because I'm halfway through. Uh, I'm still really enjoying it. I'm less confused when we switch up point of view. Um, it took me a little while <laughs> to get used to it. Because I feel like every time I get really invested in the story, we're switching and I'm like, oh yeah, th that's right, we're doing both. And like, they're just such different stories and like genre that every time, but I'm curious to see how they're going to join. And I understand why people didn't really like it, but so far I'm enjoying it. It does help that I like both genres, but it it does feel kind of strange, but I, I'm reserving my judgment for later on. Also, I wanted to show you um, the squirrel because I've been asked to keep including all the pets in my vlogs and it's been snowing. Um, I have yet to bring back my chairs inside, which I regret. We had a couple really hot days, so I left them there and now they're under snow. But the squirrel, I haven't seen Steve, the squirrel I've been feeding usually because she usually comes and takes the peanuts from my hand. I haven't seen her, maybe from afar, but she hasn't come. And I've been feeding the second one, which has the brown belly. He is adorable. He doesn't come and eat the peanuts from my hand though, but he's really fluffy. Like his ears are fluffy and he's getting so chubby for winter. So cute, so cute. So I have a little clip of him from this morning and I just needed to share it because how fluffy is he? There are like so many squirrels. There's one there, do you see it? And there's one here. I, oh, there you go. The chippy one. They're waiting for me to go away. I need to bring back the chairs inside, but they keep using them. Look how cute it is. <laughs> On that note, I'm gonna go ahead and start reading because I'm hoping to finish it. Also, I did start um, The Lost Metal by Brendan Sanderson. I got access to an arc that is just an advance reader copy. I mean, like an extended some <laughs> an extended extract. There you go. It's just the first 10 chapters until I receive my physical copy. So far, so good. I feel like the series in general is just not my favorite uh, from that world. I do prefer the first series, but this is the fourth book and last book in the second series, which is more like Western. I keep saying cowboy because they have guns. So in my head, it's like pew pew and like they're investigating things and it's interesting and the characters are likable and funny, but I'm just not emotionally as invested. I still find it interesting because it's the same world and magic system, but we'll see. We'll see. I'm kind of excited for the next series, but I have to finish it. So I will. I'm hopeful that the ending will be worth all of it, but yeah. I thought I would throw it out there that I did start it. I won't have time to finish it this week, but I started it. Also, I wanted to show you one sneaky purchase I just got in the mail. Uh, don't want to show the package my address. But I got something for uh, my beauty room. Basically, Simon's, I had seen some really cute bed sheets on their website. Of course, they were sold out as usually happens. Um, and then I kind of forgot about it, hoping that, you know, maybe they'll get back in stock. And I saw an ad for their Christmas stuff and I decided, let me go check again. And let me show you. So the room is going to be kind of boho, but I love cottage core, cute stuff. And these bed sheets look white, but from up close, do you see it? They have some tiny mushrooms. So obviously I got super excited and I got the whole set. So I will now have the cutest bed literally ever. I'm so excited. So Simon's not sponsored, I wish. Uh, but yes, I'm so excited. So next time you see me, well, I need to wash them first actually. But then next time you see me, I will be 
sleeping on the best sheets literally ever. I just needed to share. I haven't done like a haul of stuff in forever because I haven't posted on my beauty channel. So this is therapy for me right now. So, hey, update. Um, I have less than 100 pages left, maybe like 50. That will read tonight. Um, things have been taking longer than I thought, but it's because... This has been taking a lot longer than I thought it would. I am exhausted. I did the first half yesterday, but the sun goes down so early. Like at 3.30, it was dark and I, the lighting looked pretty bad. So I decided to finish it today and I'm, you know, back to it today. But I'm sore. I have way too many books. My back, my arms, everything. <laughs> anyway, so uh, I'll update you once I finish it. But so far... I'm enjoying it. I feel like the flip-flopping between the two stories is working for me, but I don't know how I feel about where it's going. I definitely want to continue a lot more than I did um, after finishing book one because, you know, everyone was making me worried about the rest. But yes, I have all of this to do today. So I'll see you much, much later tonight. I'm very relieved, though, to have, like, this room start looking like a room. And I don't have, like, all the tools on the floor anymore. I was feeling very, very overwhelmed. And my bedroom looks a lot more decent. I need to clean it up, but look. Okay, so it's messy, obviously, because I just removed all the books. But look at this. I have space. I have sp And I can finally open my closet, which <laughs> not being able to open it for, like, two months was, was annoying. It was annoying. So feeling slightly relieved. I will feel even better once the books are organized. I have so much more space than I thought I would. Like, I'm gonna have some empty shelves. Room for growth. I will have to buy more books, sadly. I'm so tired. <laughs> you can see, um, I haven't done this half yet. I've done this half, so four done. Three to go. I thought I would be done pretty quickly today. No, no. <laughs> uh, it doesn't help that it gets dark so early that right now it feels like nighttime and it's like 2.30 in the afternoon. But the sun goes down at like, they say 4.30, but that's when it's pitch black. So like at four o'clock, it's going to be really dark. The only reason there's some light right now is the ring light. Let me turn it off. This is this is the natural light at the moment. Like <laughs> Anyway, uh, I'm going to get back to work. I thought I was going to be able to start decorating for Christmas in this vlog, but really it's going to have to go next vlog next week because I'm going to be honest, I'm not happy with the way it looks. We'll all have to agree that my bookshelves have never been the most aesthetic on YouTube. They never will be. I, I can't do that. It's not my thing. Um, but I'm not happy with the way these turned out either. They look fine. Just not, just not very pretty. I tried to organize them in a the way that makes sense to me. Oh, I need to fix uh, <laughs> that. Um... But I can't do it anymore. Plus, the sun is going down. It's getting really dark in here. So, that will have to do for now. Can't wait to show you the tour. But, again, keep in mind that this is a work in progress. I just really needed to unclutter my life. The end of year is approaching. It's already chaotic. It's going to get even more chaotic because all the end of year videos. So, I didn't my books to be accessible not <laughs> they were not in piles on the floor for months so this is the after you get to see it so my fantasy sci-fi it's kind of where i landed on this but i have a lot more empty space than i thought i would be which ooh, there you go so yeah that's it for today's vlog well until I finished a book. So I'm going to go and try to do that because I was supposed to do that today. Hi, I'm posting a video tomorrow. I just finished a book.
last minute. I spent so much time reorganizing my book, so much longer than I expected. Um, I don't even know how to review this book because I didn't like the ending. Like, I didn't absolutely hate it, but I didn't like it. And I, I thought people didn't care for the mix of the two stories, two genres, but maybe didn't like the ending either. I don't know. I don't know. I really want to read book three, but I don't think I'm going to have time until January because I have too many things I need to read beforehand. But that's a good sign, though. It means that I will finish the series next year early. So there's that. But yeah, I... I don't know. I was leaning towards a four until the ending, and now I'm leaning towards running it down to a three. It's probably like a 3.5. The main character is less likable in this one. It's on purpose, but that was one of the strength with book one. And the magic system is still interesting. The world building is very interesting, especially again with the mix of the two stories, but the ending annoys me. So... I'm very much like right after, so it feels a bit too fresh to be 100% sure, but I'm leaning for a 3.5 that I might round down. So yeah, I'll update you, but that's where I'm at with this one. Actually, let me double check. In, um, ooh, <laughs> just showered, clearly. Um, chapter three in uh, The Lost Metal. So far, no feelings. I feel like I'm going through these books with just... We've already talked about it. Um, chapter three. So there are only ten in the excerpt. Excerpt? Ex the sample. But I have the full link novel. You'll see it in my next haul video. But yeah. Only read two chapters. I thought I would have time to do more, but again, this week this week has been really hectic and the rest of the year is gonna be really hectic. I really want to decorate for Christmas now that the books are on the shelves. I need to finish up. I should get a reading chair soon. Um, and then all the end of year videos are going to start being made. I have a few more books I need to read beforehand. I'm feeling a bit, you know, but that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thumbs up, subscribe. The next vlog will be on the second challenge that uh, you wanted to see, which is my Goodreads reading challenge. I don't know how many books I'm going to read, but at least one, at least one before I do my own award show. I'm excited. Oh.